And so we wrap it up with the inside scoop from London. That is Olivia Harlan Decker, a London resident. What's up, Liv? Good to see you. Hey, so good to see you, too. I'm glad to be on with you. That's a, is that Wolfie in the background? Oh, Some no. things have changed <laughs> since you and I chatted last time. That's awesome. Boy, Congratulations. You're right. I know. Was I even pregnant last time we talked? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, that is Wolfie. Uh, he has That's a babysitter. Awesome. Sam's on the road. I'm here in London. Got a babysitter because I've got to record my podcast after this. So, you know, with the time change, I, I work at night. So this is what uh, it is. <laughs> I can uh, I can understand that. John checked in from London and I was here in this studio at two in the morning. So totally See, appreciate that, that. Thank you. Yeah, that, that totally really sucked. sucks. I feel for you. <laughs> my alarm went off at one. Uh, of course, you're oh. still doing Bet MGM's Unleashed podcast. That's yes. super cool. Your next episode launches the same day this episode launches. What's up with that one, quick? Yes, new episode every Thursday, and we're mostly NFL, I got to say, and that was kind of accidental. We were supposed to be more all-encompassing, but every week we just spend most of the time talking NFL. Um, but this week is NBA preview as the season's about to start, and we have Zach Harper on from The Athletics. So we're really going to get into the nitty-gritty and, of course, talk a lot about the Milwaukee Bucks, so your listeners will want to cool. hear it. That's awesome. Yeah. Definitely tune into that wherever you can get your podcast. All right, so speaking of the NBA – Sam was in, then he was out, and now you guys are in yes. London. He yes. plays for the London Lions of the British Basketball League. What's that all about? Oh, God, we're thrilled. You know, this summer, every summer in free agency, you're getting texts from his agent saying, what do you think about so-and-so? Here's the offer. Here are the logistics. And we've kind of gotten to the point, and with a baby now, I think it changes right. everything. You know, you, of course, you're curious, okay, who, who's the coach? What other Americans are going to be on the team? Of course, what are they paying? But <laughs> then city. And there were some cities that came up and Sam's like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And I just said, you know, to a couple hard pass, like I'm not taking my new baby to fill in the blank, use your imagination, right. all these places. <laughs> In the world. And uh, then we heard London. I thought that is too good to be true. And already, so Trevor, awesome. we have had my mom came in town for the Packer game, right. which I wasn't surprised at at all. Sam's parents <laughs> come in town this week. My brother comes in town the next week. I've had friends come in and out. You know, it's I feel like we're in the States. I got to be honest. And you felt like this was a Packer home game, which is exactly the inside mm -hmm. scoop we were hoping to get. So here the Packers play in London last weekend. We will not talk about the game whatsoever because no. this show is about joy. Not a lot of joy in that. We'll skip that. So, but here you are in London and Wisconsin descends on you. Talk yeah. about that. How cool was that? Oh, the coolest. So a good friend of mine, Jamie Erdahl, is the host of Good Morning Football on NFL Network. And she was yeah. in town the week before for Vikings because um, they were doing the game and she was doing sideline of the game. So I spent a lot of time with Jamie that week and went to the set. And she's a huge Vikings fan. So after she wraps up the set, she says, let's go grab a beer somewhere. I say, great. You know, like throw a stone. We'll hit somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just like Wisconsin. And uh, we go to this Vikings bar. And I was like, OK, keep in mind, I have the baby. <laughs> OK, all right. And we're going, and it's middle of the day. so Which is also so Wisconsin. So but Wisconsin I digress. Yeah. <laughs> this was not the baby's first bar. Let's say that. <laughs> um, and all of a sudden, all the fans are going, skull. Skull, skull. Ugh. My baby starts wailing like the loyal Packer fan he is. Rightfully so, yeah. So then I, I, one of the bartenders says, um, oh, it'll be the same next week. We have all these Wisconsin people coming. And I go, oh, well, that's us. We'll be here next week. <laughs> uh, so, no, it just everywhere we went, Packer jerseys everywhere, green cool. everywhere. I got to be honest. And I know your eye kind of finds what it's looking for. I did not see many Giants fans walking yeah. around. Just like the week before, I did not see a lot of Saints. I got to gotta be honest about that, too. So it was Green Bay. Everywhere we went, I feel like we saw someone we knew or someone who knew a family member or something. And, oh, it was, it was just too cool. And then the game, I hope it translated on the TV broadcast, but it felt like better than a Super Bowl atmosphere because no it was so heavy – Packer fans, regardless if they became a Packer fan this week or their <laughs> whole lives. And it was, I mean, electric and loud and so, so heavily favored for Green Bay. Yeah, didn't turn out that way a little bit, but you could tell mm. on the TV broadcast. We, we talked to Bill Jarts earlier in this episode, Liv, and the whole another Packers first down the way he does it always at Lambeau. I heard the mm -hmm. guy trying to do that there. Yes, probably didn't work out quite the same, but they really tried to make it a Packer home game. 
So much so that Sam said to me after I think their first down, he said, I think that's the Packers PA announcer. And for the whole game, wow. and I, I feel guilty because no one wants their work to be confused with someone else's, but the sure. whole game, we did think it was him. And we thought, no now, that's kidding. pretty cool. Now, another wow. funny story with that is you can very much tell who has been to real Packer home games and who hasn't because, and who knows NFL rules, after they would do, dun, 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 go, yeah. Pat, go. People who were not too familiar with the NFL, I think, they kept going thinking it was just the normal go, Pat, go chant. And Packers were on offense. So everyone's oh, like, no. shh, shh, shh. Yeah. So that was a funny thing that felt very much not in America. Um, and then we just laughed out. The other one was when they played Roll Out the Barrel, a lot of people did not know the words. Oh, of course not, right. <laughs> there were some people doing polka, and they're like, what's wrong with them? What's right. going on? Even though the words are on the screen. But other than that, it really, really felt like a home game. Um, but we That's just laughed. Cool. There were a couple things like that that were like, oh, these people don't know. I shared earlier some of the pictures that John was trolling me with. I had massive FOMO <laughs> not being there. And John sat like five rows behind you. What are the odds of that? I know. I mean, isn't that funny? And and we so we saw him and we thought, oh, that's so great. You know, I knew he was hosting something at Belushi's, which was a packet yeah. bar for the week. I saw that. So I knew he was in town. Him and Sam were texting about meeting up at some point anyway. So we are so glad to see him. Um, another one is sitting right across the aisle from us. We kept kicking ourselves we said no that looks just like wayne larravee and obviously it wasn't he was doing the game I was gonna say what yeah. but the whole time we thought maybe i don't know the, if the home broadcast wasn't doing it or something and mm. this is just wayne sitting out here but we can confirm and we asked john this we said we feel like idiots that's not wayne is it and he confirmed no he's doing the game no yeah he's busy <laughs> that's so awesome well uh, thank you for letting us live vicariously through the Wisconsin <laughs> side of all things London. That's so cool. Um, people are going to want to know, how's Sam playing? Oh, my God. He's on fire. And yeah. right after this, they're playing their first Euro Cup game um, against Hypel Tel Aviv, which is a huge opponent. Um, and by the time this airs Thursday, we will know how they did. But it's the first time in, I think, uh, 20 years or so that a British team has played in Euro Cup because it's a higher okay. up level and the Lions have gotten relegated up, um, which is super exciting. So there's a lot of pressure on them and I'm very biased, but Sam is the guy and he's playing That's lights cool. out. I think he's averaging 20 something. He's had a 30 point wow. game. He's he's great. And he's really happy and healthy, which is most important to me. That's exactly right. I saw the 30 point game come across your Twitter. I think I was like, good yeah. for you guys. That's awesome. I, well, and the team's, uh, the team's great. It's really fun to watch them. Um, a, a name that might stick out to people in Big Ten country is Costa Kofis, who played at Ohio State 11 years in the NBA. He's on this team um, mm -hmm. playing great. So just a, some familiar names always pop up like that. There's so many guys that we would all recognize that are overplaying in those other leagues right. like Sam had for so long and now with London. That's so cool. Um, any parting words for Wisconsin fans and how we get over this? Because, look, I mean, like we all bought the London gear. <laughs> We're all like, yay, London, this is going to be great. Nobody expected for us to lose. Um, we'll be okay, right? We're going to be just fine. You know, just like Aaron Rodgers said in the postgame presser, he said, I, I hope we're back here. And I think him having that type of perspective and being so excited about being in London and attracting more of an international fan base, I, I think that set a great tone in general um, for the whole team. And, and something that stuck with me too, after the game was a reporter asked Aaron, you know, Jair Alexander was saying, we should really be concerned if we lose next week to the jets. Right. And Aaron said, we've got to check ourselves on that. I heard that talk in the locker room. I don't like it. And we got to watch our words and our energy and our manifestation, um, which I love this kind of Zen Rogers, but I think our fan base probably needs to take a page out of his book and let's just, Remain calm, and, and <laughs> I don't Relax. think we should be worrying in October. Sands. We're going to no. be okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so awesome to get your side of it, Liv. We hope all is well over there. Thank you for coming on. You, this is the second time. The only person that's ever been on twice is Wes Hotquitz. Really? You and Wes. This is All right. Cool. Boy, I'm in good company. My gosh. Yeah, yeah. Wes Hot. <laughs> we'll Thanks chat so again much. soon, Liv. We'll talk to you later. Okay.